Hey everybody, it's Ben from the Herbstead, and if you saw a while ago, I did a video on ways that you can use your grass clippings in your own lawn without trying to bag them up and get rid of them. So today, I'm going to circle back to the composting idea to show you another quick example of how I'm going to be putting my grass clippings into my compost pile and then turning it. Both reactivating it, getting it some more air, getting it a little bit more moisture, and bumping up the greens, which is the nitrogen heavy material in that compost pile, to get it cooking again. I'll show you what it looks like right now, and then I'll show you the process of me dumping all of the grass in layer by layer and then giving it a good mix. You wanna make sure it's nice and mixed up. You don't want too much of that grass pressing down into a sort of mat, which then starts to mold, causes anaerobic digestion, and then gets it nice and stinky and compost. It's not good and stinky. So let's go ahead and get into it. You're gonna see the chickens bopping around a little bit. I'm gonna try and uh, keep them out of the way because I'm going to be using the pitchfork and we don't want the uh, harmed chickens in the process of making this compost. Quick note, at this point, if you have any kitchen scrap or any other organic waste that you would like to add, this would be a perfect time to do that. Okay, so I got some leftover. I'm gonna let that stay there. These chickens are just gonna peck in it. They're gonna scratch, they're gonna lay it all around. But what I wanna do is I'll let this get dried out. And after it sits for a while, it can be really good for bedding in the run, or it can be even better for mulch on some of the places that I wanna put some mulch on. I'll let the chickens peck through it first. That way they can try and get out all the seeds and all the other bits. And hopefully by the time they're done with it, I'll be able to put it on any of our garden beds without causing too much of a weed explosion in that area. But that's it, folks. That's simple. Just a quick reminder that you can utilize the resource that you have at hand, and it doesn't have to take that long. You didn't, you saw me, I kind of sped this one up, but you can still see it only took about eight minutes to do the actual tossing of the compost and the mixing in of the greens. So this is all said and done. I'm gonna take one bucket from the watering pail and I'm gonna douse this, cover back up with the black plastic and put the thermometer back in and just let it cook. So, let's do that.
And there you have it. And I'm looking at my camera right now, it says 15 minutes. So, and I know all that footage won't be making it into this video. It only took me 15 minutes after I was done lawn mowing to add these grass clippings into the compost, mix it, water it, and then cover it. Really quick, really easy. If you do this every time you mow your lawn, you're going to grow your compost pile. You're going to get it really hot and working quickly. And you're going to be turning a waste product into a big win for your garden. Thank you guys for coming. I'm Ben, and this was The Herbstead. This was a really quick explanation, and I hope that it benefits you today. If you appreciated this, please leave a like and subscribe, and drop a comment down below if you have any thoughts or ideas, or if you've tried this yourself. As always, grow on.